Hi, and welcome to our first video about food in Morocco. So what we're doing today is having lunch here, and then for dinner we're going to eat in the square, which right now, as you can see, is actually pretty calm and relaxed. But at dinner time, it goes crazy. It becomes full of people and smoke and stalls selling food. So we're excited to show you the difference between this pretty calm lunch up here and then a crazy dinner down there. We have been exploring the square at night with all the little mobile restaurants that they have there. Some of them even serve lamb's head. So I've been trying to get mentally ready for that for the last few days. And tonight I'm gonna go try to see if I can try one of them. I don't know how that's gonna go, so uh, stay tuned here and see if I can do it. As you may know from our previous videos and blog posts, I am mostly vegan or plant-based, while Gustavo is happy to eat meat at just about every meal. Every single meal. Today, for lunch, I'm going to order a vegan dish, which is the vegetable tagine, and Gustavo is going to order a meat dish, as usual, which is the veal tagine. Both the vegetable tagine and the vegetable couscous, which are on the menu at just about every restaurant, are called vegetarian, but are in fact vegan. For more information on eating vegan in Morocco, or at least in Marrakesh, check out our previous blog post, which we'll link in the description below. We ordered the tagine specials, which comes with the tagine itself and also a soup as an appetizer, a Moroccan soup and the mint tea. And it's only 15 dirham more than just the tagine dishes, which is about $1.50 more, so it's a good deal. In a fairly thick broth, this soup has chickpeas, lentils, bits of onion, maybe celery, herbs and spices, and little strands of what look like spaghetti noodles. <laughs> Thank you. Mine is the veal with the veggies. So I can see some carrots here, some olives, some pieces of potato here, and uh, zucchini. And they always bury the meat inside in the center. Like Gustavo's, the vegetarian tagines usually have something buried in the center. Here you can see on top that there's preserved lemon peel, and then I'm digging away potatoes, squash, carrots, more potatoes. And in this one, to my surprise, it looks like there's nothing hidden in here. Usually this is where you'll find a chunk of pumpkin or something like that, but here I just find more potatoes. Apparently the proper way to eat a tagine is by taking a piece of bread, ripping a piece off, and using that to scoop up the food and then put it in your mouth. This meat is so tender, it just you don't even need to cut it, it just comes apart. One of the things that I love about the vegetable tagines and couscous dishes here is that you get such a variety of amazing fresh vegetables all in one dish. And unlike a lot of places back home, you don't have to make your vegan meal by ordering a bunch of different side dishes of random vegetables, you just get this amazing plate. the sauce and bread. This tastes more like 
Mexican style salsa that I'm used to from home, which is really, really good. And I was surprised that this flavor combination is here. It wasn't what I was expecting at all. On this combination plate, I'm now trying these peppers for the first time. I have no idea how spicy they are, so let's see how this goes. Wow, that's not spicy at all. It's actually incredibly nice and sweet. I love that. This little cake is one of the things that came on the mixed plate that was sort of over-delivered to us. And looking at it, it looks like it's either fish or cheese inside, so I'm actually going to let Gustavo be the one to try this for you. A bonus. It's nice and doughy. I think it's potato. I don't think there's cheese here. So I think, Gretchen, you're clear to eat this. As you can see, the eggplant has really nice color on it, and it's nice and crispy on the skin, too. This is not that horrible, soggy, gooey eggplant that you often end up with. So let's see how it tastes. I feel like that one could have used a little more seasoning. But again, it's not gooey or slimy, which are the biggest problems with eggplant. So yeah, it's pretty good. This Moroccan salad looks like it's basically tomatoes, onions, and some green herbs. Again, the flavors are reminiscent to me of Mexican food, or pico de gallo. So it's really interesting to find that flavor combination here where I didn't expect it. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I have no idea how to eat this. I think this has some meat somewhere. There's not a lot of meat here, it's just pretty much bone and skin. But I guess, yeah, this part here has a little bit more meat. There you go. Try the lamb's head. It's not bad, it tastes just like other red meat. I have no idea where what else I can eat. I guess this here? Another little bite. It's good, I think once you get past the weirdness of eating a lamb's head, the taste is just normal. If you didn't know what you were eating, it would be just like any other red meat. We were looking for a place that served lamb's head. And of course, the guys here, the barkers, will do anything to get you to their stalls. So we got to this place here and he said, yeah, we'll get you a lamb's head. But we don't think they serve it here. We're pretty sure that he went to a different stall, got it for us and brought it here. So they will really do anything to get you here. So when they brought the lamb's head, they also got us the spices here. I think it's salt and some other kind of mix. We made it back to our room at our Riyadh after a very interesting food experience. I, I don't think I'll try lamb's head anytime soon. Which I am happy to hear because honestly it was not that appetizing to have it sitting there on the table with its teeth showing. Yeah, it was fine but there was almost no meat in it, so it was just more for the experience. The night market is really fun and really different. So if you're going for the experience, then we definitely recommend it. Absolutely. As with most places here though, you get exactly what you pay for. The sides are a lot less expensive than ordering the entrees at the market, and I wasn't actually trying to save money, I was just curious to try them. But honestly, I would recommend going with the entrees instead because they're a lot better than just combining a bunch of the sides. So here's a question. Would you try that lamb's head? Does that sound like something that you would go for? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining us during our lunch and dinner here in Marrakesh, Morocco. 
If you want to keep up to date with our adventures, check out all of the links in the description below. You'll see our newsletter there, as well as links to our blog and our Instagram page. We're going to do an extra bonus video next week. This one's especially for women. So if you've never before seen green lipstick, and yes, the lipstick itself is green, tune in to learn about this and other Moroccan beauty products. That'll be coming out next Tuesday or Wednesday. So give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.